Now let's move on to the next question. We have to prove the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So step by step. So let's first expand this. You'll have sine x times this will become sine x minus sine square x cos x. Then this time this will become plus cos x minus sine x cos square x. So let's see how can we uh, simplify and see what will that lead us to. Uh, for example, let's see we can factorize or we can just play with that for a bit. So here we have, we need to find sine 3x plus cos power 3x. So let's see what is obvious here or what is, what can we play with so that we have uh, the answer that we need. So I would say, uh, because here, so again, this is cos x, not cos, right? So let's do something. Because here we have this and this, let's factorize this. You will have cos x, and here we have 1 minus sine square x. Here we have this. We have 2 uh, plus sine x. Here you will have 1 minus cos square x. Right, and so now we realize something happens here. What is this and what is this? This is simply cos square x, and that is simply sine square x. That will become cos cube x plus sine cube x. This is shown as required. Same thing, right? That makes sense. Now for part two, we have to solve this equation equal to this. Again, this is the same thing as this. We understand that this is equal to this, so we can take this and put this here. So part two, that will be sine 3x plus cos power 3x is equal to 9 sine 3x. So simplify, send this over here or this over here. Um, or this over here, better. So that will be cos 3x is equal to 8 sine 3x. Now whenever you have sine and cos in the same equation, what do we do? We divide by cos. Cos 3x in this case, that will become, this will become 1 equal to 8. When sine divided by cos, you will have tan tan power 3x. So tan power 3x as a subject now will be 1 over 8. Now we understand tan this will be cubic root 1 over 8, that will be 1 over 2. So tan x is equal to 1 over 2. Now we can see it is a positive value. So according to the quadrants, ASTC, it will be in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. This is simply your angle x and that will be 180 plus x. So let's find that value. Tan inverse of half, that will be, and degrees here, that will be 26.6, .6. and then here we have to find 180 plus the answer, that should be 206.6. .6. So these are the two values of x for which we have this equation.